Hey everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Forecast. My name is Terence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, November the 11th, 2024. It's going to be an active week, astrologically speaking, because by Friday we're having a full moon. Now, on Monday the 11th, the moon is in Pisces to start the work week. The moon represents the overall tone and reactions and moods of the public. Pisces is more empathetic, more caring, more compassionate energies. And the moon will be in harmony with the Scorpio sun in the early morning, 6, 7, 8 a.m. Pacific time. And when the moon and the sun are in harmony, the day is more, flows more easily. Relate, relating to others is more comfortable. And Venus, the planet of love and creativity and relationships, is leaving Sagittarius, fiery, playful, adventurous Sagittarius and going into Capricorn around 11.20 a.m. Pacific time until early December, once a year. Venus in Capricorn, when it comes to relationships, the Capricorn is more, uh, compels more uh, responsibilities, more commitment, more tradition, um, more grounded, and that's going to be the background theme for Venus energies for the next month. On Tuesday, now the moon has moved into fiery Aries, independent Aries, where the moon's in was in Pisces. Many times we can just we lose ourselves in others. and But the positive side of that is all the empathy and compassion. But when that moon, that public moon, goes into Aries, Aries is very independent. It's, uh, um, uh, it's very restless, impulsive, can be more ego-oriented. Now, that's for those next couple of days. And communication, decision-making, Mercury will be squaring or a challenging aspect to Saturn. Now, Mercury to Saturn, communications to limited Saturn, there might be some worrisome negative thinking. Trying to communicate to others may be more frustrated it can be a, indicate a time of saying goodbye and certainly bringing up a lot of worries. The positive, we always want, how can we turn this positively? Saturn is all that contraction and focus and Mercury, the mind. So this could be more favorable if you can really just concentrate and focus on learning, studying, researching. On Wednesday, as the moon continues in combustible, independent Aries, it's going to be in harmony, called a sextile, to expansive Jupiter. And that's going to be 7, 8, 9 a.m. Pacific time. So emotionally, the moon, in harmony with Jupiter, Jupiter is optimistic, it's expansive, there might be, with the moon, more compelling need for all things Jupiter, making travel plans or heading out to the airport, education, uh, updating your website, because the Jupiter can, meet, can represent the publishing and the marketing. On Thursday, now the moon has, is shifting into Taurus, where moon in Aries can be more generally impulsive. And when the moon goes into Taurus, Taurus is more steady, calming, grounded. Now, the moon in Taurus is going to be triggering 
um, physical, passionate Mars in harmony with relational Venus. In fact, Venus is the ruling planet for Taurus, the moon in Taurus. This is happening around 5, 6, maybe 7 a.m. Pacific time. Now, what's happening here is this could be very favorable for, um, for uh, socializing, for romance, for passion. In the evening, the mid-evening, maybe 7, 8, 9 p.m., but Pacific time. So most of the world is probably going to be sleeping, but that emotional steady moon in Taurus will be in harmony with Saturn. And when Saturn is, fa being, uh, is being favorable, there's this grounding, there's this stability. Um, so by late evening, at least specific, for those on the Pacific coast, you could be feeling more secure, more grounded, more practical. Good for business. On Friday, now we have the, the full moon in Taurus. Full moons can overall test relationships because the sun is opposite the moon. The sun can represent the individual versus or in confrontation to the moon that represents the public. So it's in some ways a full moon once a month. It's you against the world in general. It can test all kinds of relationships. But this full moon is going to be at 24 degrees of Taurus and disruptive, exciting, unpredictable Uranus is going to be at the same time at 25 degrees of Taurus. So this full moon, you might be feeling it a bit at the end of Thursday, but certainly strong Friday into Saturday, maybe a bit Sunday. So it's only a couple of days of a lot of revealing what's been hidden, triggering a lot of emotional reactiveness. And with the Uranus um, influence. There could be some shocking surprises or some exciting breakthroughs. Also, Taskmaster Saturn that ret and all the other planets retrograde every year. Saturn retrograded on June the 29th and is going direct on, on the day of the full moon on November the 15th. Saturn is in Pisces. Saturn rules Capricorn. So where, where Pisces, Saturn in Pisces is transiting in your chart, things might have been more inhibited, more slow, more worrisome. And where Capricorn, because Saturn rules Capricorn, where Capricorn rules in your chart, it's the same thing, where that energy might have been more limiting, more restricted, more worrisome. Now with the full moon, which could be with Uranus, these, these sudden insights and breakthrough energies, and now Saturn is beginning to go direct. Now it's going to take a while for Saturn to get back to its regular speed, but things are opening um, depending um, where Saturn is transiting, where Capricorn rules in your chart. Saturday, the moon is now in Gemini, talkative, mentally stimulated, restless, adaptable, flexible Gemini. Taurus likes to go slow and steady, but now we're in Gemini, representing the public tone. And Gemini likes to walk and talk and chew gum at the same time. Um, they get distracted, they're very mentally distimulating, and this moon in Gemini in the early morning, 6, 7, maybe 8 a.m. Pacific time, will be in harmony with Mars, with um, assertive dynamic Mars. So depending on where you are in the world, on the, on the West Coast, maybe 7 to 8 a.m. Pacific time, there could be a lot of emotional excitement, activity, motivation. Now the sun, on Friday with the full moon, that's the sun opposite the moon, and, this, and the moon was at 24 Taurus. 
So that means that the sun was at 24 Scorpio. And on Saturday, the next day, the sun will be at 25 degrees of Scorpio, exactly opposite the Uranus, rebellious, unpredictable Uranus at 25 degrees of Taurus. So, so Saturday is going to be just as combustible and exciting and dynamic as the full moon on Friday because the full moon sitting Uranus, the sun the next day is triggering Uranus. The positive is you can get out of any old habits and stuck routines if you put your mind to it. But expect the unexpected. Expect a lot of excitement in the world. And on Sunday, communication talkative Gemini, moon in Gemini, is going to be crossing over once a month expansive Jupiter. Because this most of this year, well, from the end of May 2024, into early June 2025, expansive lucky Jupiter is transiting Gemini. And once a month, when the moon goes into Gemini, which um, on the Pacific coast, that is 7, 8, 9 a.m., a moon, emotionally, Jupiter, optimistic, expansive, may be this um, really making plans for the future, travel plans, educational plans. But personally, emotionally, you're going to be starting off Sunday feeling really upbeat and optimistic. I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.